Good afternoon, Wes. How are you getting on? How you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, coping, um, doing the best I can. Uh, it's obviously, you know, very difficult when it's limited to what you can do, but, you know, you've just got to make the, the most of what you can do and um, make, uh, make the best out of a, you know, not a good situation, I suppose. Yeah, they're unprecedented times, aren't they, for everybody. How have you been coping? What have you been doing to, to stay active? Yeah, you know, um, obviously you have to follow the, the government guidelines um, um, to to the letter. So, you know, I'll be going out when I get a chance to do my exercise. Um, we get a programme from Leicester, which is uh, to keep us fit and keep us, you know, ready to return back to action at any point, really. So, you know, that's a, a bit of a daily programme that we have to stick to. And obviously we're monitored with that as well. So, you know, that's the exercise and fitness side of things done. And then besides that, you know, I'm trying to, you know, probably brush up on my cooking skills a little bit and, uh, you know, watching box sets, I suppose. Um, and that's probably the bulk of my time. What's it been like, obviously, because normally you'd be out and you'd be seeing the lads and, and you'd be with everyone that you see every single day and, and outside and active. So what has that been like, really the complete opposite now for you? Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's, it's not easy, you know. At some point, you know, obviously when it's a short period of time off, you know, yeah, obviously you look forward to it, you plan to do things and you go out, but obviously under these circumstances you can't do much at all, you know, and... Uh, it gets to the point where you start missing the boys, um, funny enough, you know, missing playing football and, you know, missing the banter and everything that comes around being involved in a, a football team. So it's not been easy. Um, we can stay in contact by our, our messages and um, video messaging and, and, and things like that. You know, there's various things where we're still in contact together, but, you know, it's not quite the same as seeing them and giving them a, you know, a hug, a hug and a cuddle. <laughs> and things like that so yeah it's not easy but it's the situation we're in and we have to cope as best as we can what about brendan rogers have you been in regular contact with the manager yeah i spoke to the manager a few times and he's been really good you know just checking up on on me and i know he's checked up on all the other boys also and um you know there's obviously a lot going on um with football and um, finances at the moment so We've all been in regular contact um, as much as, as, as needed to be. And um, obviously, it's good to be communicating um, through these times. And yeah, I've become probably a bit of a, a tech expert, you know, um, setting up all these video calling conferences and being involved in a lot of that at the moment. So, you know, I'm learning quite a lot um, in these times. You mentioned box sets there. You've obviously been watching a lot of TV, as we all have. What would you recommend to, to people watching? Um, I watch a bit of everything, you know. Um, obviously, I've been watching Homeland. Um, I watch um, The West World, uh, which I've obviously has a couple of seasons in now. I think the third season's on. Um, things like War of the Worlds and um, uh, other things like Black Lightning and stuff like that. I watch, you know, a whole spectrum of different programs. And I, I enjoy most things, to be fair. So, you know, Walking Dead as well. Things like that uh, I really enjoy and obviously it's good to pass the time. Right, very nice. Right, on to uh, some footballing matters then because it was just over four years to the day since a certain party on a, a Monday night at Jamie Vardy's house. Yeah, you know, um, obviously it's that time of the year where you'll see a lot of uh, a lot of reminders on social media about obviously that, that amazing day and, you know, always enjoy uh, reminiscing about them times and, and things like that and yeah you know just looking back um, you know it just emphasises our big of achievement um, what we did was uh, obviously it's incredible it was an incredible time and you know um, it's something that we'll never forget and yeah the party at David Vardy's was amazing also uh, yeah I think everyone saw the celebrations and yeah, they went on into the night as well. There's that famous shot of you being dragged along the floor, isn't there? Is that your abiding yeah. memory, do you think, of that evening? Yeah, you know, um, you know, I think a lot of people did enjoy that that little moment there. Um, Vasilevsky is the one to blame for that. Um, yeah, everyone just lost their minds, you know. Obviously, you know, we did it. Uh, everyone went crazy, but, you know, you can't blame us for that. <laughs> What was that like winning it on a, on a night that you didn't play yourselves? 
was that good because that, I guess the pressure maybe wasn't on you? Yeah, you know, obviously the game before uh, was the game at Man United away and we got a point there, which was um, obviously proved to be a vital point in the end. And, uh, you know, there's, there's ways to win it, I suppose, but, you know, you win it any way you can. <laughs> you win it any way you can. Um, I'm sure if we didn't win it on that night, it would have been the next game we played. So, um, yeah, um, fate dictated um, that, but... You know, it never took the shine off how special it was uh, anyway. So it was, it was a great result for us. Yeah, and it meant you could really celebrate that night as well. Obviously, then you, you went on to lift the, the Premier League trophy yourself personally. The, the first Leicester player to do so, to lift a first division or indeed a Premier League title. So how proud did that make you? Yeah, immensely proud. You know, um, I think obviously personally, you know, it's probably something that I would never thought um, I would achieve um, in my footballing career. Um, the Premier League is, you know, the pinnacle of, of, of football. Um, the very best uh, players of clubs win the Premier League uh, in that season. So, you know, to be a part of that, to be a part of a special group of players that we we had at that time um, is amazing. And you probably, you know, obviously everyone's heard about the the underdog story and you know five thousand to one odds and. You know, everything that goes with it, you know, we almost got relegated the season before and we've done a great escape. You know, it, it's a completely amazing story um, from where we come from to where we ended up and what we achieved. What have those four years been like for, for Wes Morgan since then? I guess your life did completely change at that moment. Yeah, you know, um, obviously it changes for everybody. A uh, couple of, you know, key things, fun things that happened, you know, the Captain Morgan rum bottle, uh, little things like that makes it extra special and uh, obviously the recognition everyone gets from from obviously being a champion and, and winning the league, you know, it's it's amazing and uh, obviously the four years that from that point to now, you know, there's been, there's been ups and downs, you know, there's been tragedies, there's been obviously good moments in the Champions League and, and things like that, so, you know, it's been ups and downs but I think we all can obviously look back at um, that special moment and um, take joy from it. As you said, lots of, of ups and downs for the, the club and, and for you players personally. I, I guess the Champions League probably will be one of the the very, very highs of, of that time. Yeah, you know, um, I've said it many times before in interviews, you know, I'm used to probably going to my friend's house and watching the Champions League on the, on the TV with them and, uh, you know, obviously when the music comes on, you get chills and everyone knows it's a Champions League night. Um, but to be involved in it and to be playing in it and actually be present on a pitch when you hear the music, you know, can't say enough how amazing that feeling is. And, uh, you know, playing in Europe and going to different places and playing against different teams and different cultures and different styles uh, is fantastic. And, you know, hopefully... Leicester can get back to them European days at some point in the near future and um, we can do it all again. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time uh, this afternoon, Wes. Just before you do go, though, how, how important is it that those people out there follow go government guidelines and, and make sure they stay at home? Yeah, it's very important. You know, um, the NHS has got a lot on their, on their plate. They're working so hard. They're saving lives and we can help them out by staying at home. You know, that's the message that's Everyone's been told to do. Um, we don't want to put any more added pressure onto the NHS. And they're doing a fantastic job at the moment, which is, which is great. Um, but we can play our part and, and just stay at home. Uh, and hopefully we can get through this all together.